Oh, baby. Oh. Oh, fuck yeah. I fucking like Krispies. I love it. What? What the hell? Oh, it's you guys. What's up? What you doing? Damn, I haven't seen you guys in like, I don't know how long, dude. It's been weeks. It's it's probably been like over a month, probably, to be honest. So, we have a lot to catch up on. What the hell are you guys doing down there? Fucking stalkers? <laughs> well, you know what? I don't even care. Let's just talk about something that happened to me last night. And it's a really really sad story so I recommend if you have any tissues around if you have any uh, people to cry on bring those clothes because this is gonna be the saddest fucking story you're ever gonna hear in your life alright so there I was it was last night 9 p.m. I was like you know what today I'm gonna take a shower early so I could go to sleep early like at 10 10 p.m. so I could get like fucking nine hours of sleep tonight right so I go and I get my clothes put them in the bathroom brush my teeth you know I do all this stuff to get ready and then I realize wait it's still like 9 10 so I still have like a shit ton of time to kill and I was like, well, you know what? My chest is looking kind of hairy, so is my stomach, and my beard's kind of growing out, so I might as well fucking take this razor blade into the shower and fucking clean up, you know? Oh. oh. And I was like, all right, well, let's go. I mean, I've done this like a million times before, actually only like twice before, but I mean, who needs a mirror, right? Fucking fuck that shit, fuck the mirror. Just go in and just try and pinpoint your your where your chin hairs are. And try not to shave up here. Try to shave like down here. And try to like just get your stomach nice and nice. Yes. So I was like, okay, let's go. And I go in the shower, I take my bath, and then I'm like, alright, now it's time to shave up, bro. And so I began shaving my face. And that went fine. That went well. And I was like, okay. Feeling pretty confident now. Let's move on to the stomach. So I go and I shave my stomach. And no blood's coming out. I'm perfectly fine. And I'm like, alright. Let's finish off strong. So it was all going perfectly fine. Until I said that. And I was around here so I get my razor blade and I'm like sh 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 fucking shaving off this upper chest hair and it was all fine actually until I realized that there was some hair like right under my tits and I was like oh I missed the spot right and hold up this is the climax of the story so I get my razor blade, and then I'm like this, right? It's all good. One mission accomplished. Perfectly clean under my tits. And then over here, I move to this one. And then I'm feeling hella confident. And for some reason, I decide to go like super fast, sonic fast. And I'm like, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but then the last strike I did, like this, got my nipple. And that's when the pain began rolling in. <laughs> right when I fucking... I, I must have caught like half of my nipple off, dude. Because right when I went like this, I just felt like so much pain. I thought I was going to die, honestly. And like, I just saw like blood. And I was like, oh, what the, ah, ah. I'd never experienced this much pain in my life. Honestly, I thought I was going to die. People talk about breaking bones and how injecting a needle into your bone is the worst pain you can ever feel nah dude fucking cutting off half your nipple with the fucking razor blade that's the worst that's the worst feeling ever man I felt like I was gonna die
<laughs> and after that, the towel, my towel, my shower towel that I used to dry up, it ended up getting hella red and wet from all the blood coming out of my tits. And I was like, damn, dude. <laughs> damn, and now I have like a giant scab right here. A giant nipple. A scab the size of my nipple on my nipple. And it fucking hurts. <laughs> if I, like, sometimes the hair is on my shirt, somehow, like, stick into the scab, and then, like, if you go like this, it, like, rips off part of the scab. And then it fucking hurts again. And, yeah, that's basically, uh, the worst thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. So, yeah, that's how my week has gone. And I'd like to know how your week is going. Please... Leave it down, <laughs> please, leave it down in the comments. Fucking Rice Krispies is coming back to me. You know what I want to do? I want to be able to eat a Rice Krispies bar. And then I want to be able to throw up the Rice Krispies bar and eat the Rice Krispies bar again. Just like King Neptune and Spongebob. Anyways, please, if you want more random ass stories, Click that subscribe button up there. And also, if you like this story, don't forget to like. And share it with your friends if you to spread awareness of my nipple. One like equals one prayer. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave how your week is going down in the comments below. And I'll catch you guys some other time. Peace out.